Hey there friends, quick video for you today. We are going to be resetting this Netgear Nighthawk. This is an AC2300 model. We're going to be resetting it to its factory default settings. It's super easy to do. Let's jump into it. Okay, so for this reset, you're going to need basically your router. You're going to need to have your router turned on. So there's an on switch. Again, for this model, it's right here. This is a little button that you can push down, see power on and off. We're also gonna flip it around so we can see this better on the back. And then the other thing you're gonna need is a, some sort of a, a little pin press so we can get into the reset depressed area. I like to use these SIM card keys for your cell phone. If you need some of these, I'll put a link in the description box below. Okay, so let's go down and look at the back of this router here. Basically, we have a number of different things, including the little reset button. Now, as you can see, the button is actually located down inside the casing. This is just to prevent you from accidentally resetting it. Okay, so as you can see, we have the power back on on the Netgear, we're ready for the reset now. We have all our lights in that steady configuration. If you don't have any internet connection, again, all you need to do is really power this on. And then basically I'm just gonna lean it up like this so we can actually get to that reset button here. Okay, and here's where we need our little SIM key. And basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna push the button that's down in that casing there. I'm gonna push and hold. And as you can see, the amber light turns amber right there on that front. You'll see it blink a few times. And then this is gonna be held for roughly 10 seconds here. And then basically you can see I'm still holding down. And now after 10 seconds, I can release. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause all these lights to blink for you just like that, indicating that a reset is in progress. This can take uh, up to a minute, uh, maybe a little bit longer sometimes. Basically everything is just recycling. And then as it comes back on, it'll be configured to the default position. Again, if you need your passwords, default admin login, it's all located on the bottom of the router. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the one for this guy, but that's where it's located. So that's where all your default information will be. Friends, that's it. If this has helped, hit the thumbs up button for us. Let's know we're making helpful videos. Stay tuned. We're making a bunch more uh, router, Netgear style tutorial videos, as well as a ton of other tech information. Subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one.